But here's what I'm going to tell you. Don't clap for me. This is not the time for jokes. It's not the time for adulation. It's the time for us to get very serious because we have a battle ahead of us. I'm not going to deceive you. These guys are not going to leave power on their own volition. We have been fighting them for 30 years. We have been engaging them. Now is the time to disrupt the system and take it down. It is up to them to choose where they want to be spanked in this fight. It's up to them to choose to live peacefully. The way you say disruption, you scare us. It's not scaring anybody. I am a digitalist. And when you talk about disruption, it's actually a computer language. Yes. Yes. That there is a computer word or terminology known as wicked. It's called wicked problem. And what is a wicked problem? They said the wicked problem is not necessarily something that is evil. It is something that is resistant to solution. And the Nigerian state and the operators are not necessarily, actually a lot of them are cowards. Yes. And they are afraid of their shadows as we speak. But they are a little bit resistant to the kind of solution you have been giving them, which is engagement. What is engagement? Every time they come around, they say, well, they make promises. You know, they beg you. They give you bread, 500 naira. You know, they make some promises to you. And you vote for them. That's the engagement. And read for them. You read for them. You beat people for them. You kill for them. And that is engagement. Disruption is that we change that order. That instead of those of us in the majority always running away from them, being afraid of them, allowing them to steal our common wealth and loot, we now become they become the ones who are on the run away from us. So can I call you a disruptor? I have disrupted the media space. I'm now here to disrupt the political space. Wow. And today, during our time at the University of Lagos, no students died. The year I left the University of Lagos, at least five students were killed on campus by the gangs. And what was I doing that for at that time? I wanted to leave a legacy at the University of Lagos that I could sacrifice my life to protect others who needed a future. I have brought myself again out, and this is very instructive. Listen to it. They're going to come after me. There's no question about it. But it is too late now. Like Martin Luther King said, I have been to the mountain top, yeah. and I've seen the promised land. Yeah. It doesn't matter what happened to me now. Yeah. We will make sure that we get you there. 